What's going on, my friend? It's Jeff Newpert from ChasingStrength.com. And in today's video, we are talking about mistake number three out of 10 for losing body fat. And we call it STH. What does STH stand for? Well, we'll get into that in this video. All right. So just as a prelude or as an intro, I love it personally when I get emails from people who use my kettlebell complex programs and they say things like, man, that first workout only took 10 minutes. It was still challenging though. Is that really enough? Is 10 minutes enough? And my response is usually, okay, that, that response was paraphrased, okay? So my response usually looks something like this. Here's a paraphrase. It was the first workout of 27 workouts, and each week will get progressively harder. So uh, enjoy it while it lasts. You know, I'll usually throw like one of those little wink emojis in there. And that's because many, if not most people, start a fat loss program too hard, okay? And that is mistake number three, starting too hard. They go all out right away. And as a result, well, they burn out. This is common when you start too hard. So the trick is to wade in slowly, you know, like when you're going to the beach, okay, and you're, you want to wade into the ocean. That's that's kind of what we're talking about here. So what you do is you check the box and make sure you can show up for the next training session and the next and the next and the next. And over the course of four, eight, 12, 16 weeks, the training sessions become progressively harder. And as a result, you're able to do more and more and more and more and more work. Okay. And that is where you see the real changes take place. Okay. It's not the first workout, right? It's usually workout 12 and beyond. Okay. Truth be told on many of my programs, people notice significant changes after just the first three weeks. And that's because the most structured programs uh, are designed with what I call on ramps. There's cycles. Okay. And they're designed to start easy and end hard. And that way you can see early success and build consistency. Okay. So motivation and consistency from getting results. That's the key for most people to see success. Really, the truth is all good programs, all great programs do this. Here's some more food for thought for you. I really prefer using a weekly RPE scale. The RPE or rate of perceived exertion scale is ranked usually from zero to 10 or one to 10, where one is no effort. It's like, you know, changing the channel on the TV and 10 is maximum all out eye bulging, can't give any more type of effort. Okay. So strive to use the following cycle on a week by week basis. Okay. So week one, your RPE would be seven. Week two, your RPE is seven and a half. Week three, your RPE is eight. And week four, your RPE is eight and a half or nine. And then you repeat that cycle. This gives you one hard, challenging week out of four. And it's sufficient for most of us over the age of 30, certainly for those of us over 40, and most definitely for those of us over 50. Now, obviously hard is relative to your current levels of strength and conditioning. The stronger and better you get, the easier your old hard becomes, right? And that, of course, is a measure of improvement. So is lower body fat, a smaller waist, and looser jeans. And assuming those last three are part of your goals, along with obviously getting stronger, in the process, I'll leave some links to programs in the description below that will help you do just that, right? So if you found this video helpful, click the like button, hit subscribe if you haven't already. That way you can be notified of new videos that we release, which is usually twice a week. And if you found this video helpful, right, click the share button and share it with somebody, all right? Until next time, my friend, stay strong.